I'm Bo Roberts, and this is Ernie. And we have been given the pleasure to introduce the bald soprano of the routine, I. E. Nesky, who happens to be my favorite playwright. I think that's one of my favorite plays of his. And I've been a member of City Garage for most of my adult life, and uh, I guess I'll continue for as long as I can. Um, the bald soprano goes back with me. I was originally cast as Mr. Smith, and we went to the read-through, and Frederick told us that we weren't going to do the bald soprano. Instead, we were going to do the rhinoceros, which worked out really well for me. It was a, a scary play, and it was uh, horrific for the audience because I was green and naked, and oh, it was terrifying for me, too. Um, then later, we finally did the bald soprano, and I was cast as Mr. Martin, not Mr. Smith. Later in the run, uh, Jeff, Mr. Smith, had to leave out of town, and so I also got to play Mr. Smith, which made it very fortuitous to, to, for me because I got to be married on stage to two of the best actresses in City Garage. So, now we're going to show you The Bald Soprano, and after you watch it, if you have any idea what it's about, please let me know. I've often wondered. Unless I'm mistaken, that I've met you somewhere before. Uh, Mr. Fire Chief, permit me in my turn to ask you several questions. Go right ahead. Well, when I opened the door and I saw you, it, it really was you who had rang the bell. Yes, it was I. You were standing at the door and you rang to be admitted. I do not deny it. And you see, I mean, when the doorbell rings, it means someone has rung. You certainly cannot say the fire chief is not someone. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 